Tell us about the first restaurant you did, when that was, and tell us a little bit about it. It's Island? Yes. The first one was now called Trade Winds, and I started building that in 1970. I think we opened in late 71 or 72. Olga and her husband were uh, starting what is now, uh, was Posada Vistamar at the same time. We got opened about six months before they did, so we opened in early, late, late 71, early 72. And I, I laughed because I'd been a chef in New York, and when I got down here, I had opened the kitchen at what is now called Trade Winds. At that time, it was called Duffy's Esperanza. And I had two frying pans, a fry daddy, and a toaster oven. And that's all I had, and, and cooked a lot of food with it, you know. But at that time, my wife was waiting on tables and picking up tips, and I was cooking. And uh, at that time, six or eight dinners was a big night, so things were different than they are now. And and um, now Duffy's and Esperanza is doing well. And uh, tell us about sort of fast forward the uh, thirty some odd years. Yeah, from from uh, from there, I went and uh, I built bananas which was uh, just a little, the first cement house on this line here, it was all little wooden fish, fishermen shacks. And I built Banana, which was the first cement house that somebody built. And I bought that, which was very tiny, and then put the big deck out in front, and I had a sunken bar with 26, 26 bar stools, and it became the hangout on the island. And then from there, I, uh, I built La Campesina in La Hueca, which is the one I never should have sold. It's beautiful, and I still love it. And it's closed now and has been closed for years. The owner refuses to do anything with it. I've tried to buy it. I've tried to lease it, and she just wants, she just hangs on to it and does nothing with it. It's just rotting, unfortunately, because it's great. After that, let's see. Then I built Gringo Viejo, which is no longer existed. That was just a big, I built it in two weeks. It was just a big square bar with a tin roof over it. And always back, always busy, always packed. We did Mexican food. We gave away Mexican food on Sundays. And uh, somebody played the guitar and it was a hangout too. And then uh, the last one I built was was this one. Then I have Che Shack. Of course, I've been at Che Shack now in Pilon for 18 years, I guess. And we started reggae grill night up there on Monday nights, and that 200, 250 people up there on Monday nights. We have a steel band, do barbecue, etc. And then I built Duffy's, which is this one, where we're sitting now. And we're also working on a, building a new one with my son, Michael. Michael runs Duffy's and very well. And we're building a new restaurant, it's going to be called The Tin Box. It's in 102 out there, you can see the construction right at La where, where, where is that, uh, Duffy? It's, uh, you know where the dip is and, and it goes down on where the, it's called La Mina. The area is called La Mina. And there's a big dip in the road. Then there's a sewage disposal plant down the road from it. Anyway, that's halfway between here and Isabella, more or less. And it's going to be there's going to be two two bars. One is the, the tin box, which is a big zinc building, and that's going to be a daytime bar. Probably close at seven o'clock, and then the new bar, the new restaurant, which will be a high-end restaurant, that will open uh, at seven o'clock. We expect that to be open in late late November. When you create these restaurants or bars, are they for the locals? Are they for the tourists? How, how have the demands changed both from locals, from tourists? How do you accommodate the people who come to your restaurants? Well, I tell you, when I was, when I was young, I was a merchant seaman. I went to sea for 13 years when I was young. And I used to run New York Havana, New York Havana, New York Havana. And I used to hang out in a bar in Havana called the Two Brothers Bar. And it always impressed me. They had a mixture there that was unreal. They had prostitutes, they had priests, they had nuns, they had tourists, they had everybody. And it all seemed to meld so well. 
and I've always tried to open that kind of a bar where the local people could meet tourists. And tourists always want to go where the locals go. There's no question about that. Any island that you're on, the tourists want to be where the, where the locals go. So with that, no, with that knowledge, I've built most of my bars with that knowledge and taking that into consideration. And it seems to be a winner. Well, I would say. Duffy, thanks for your time. My pleasure. Bye-bye.